Hey guys, what's up? I hope you are well. Welcome to another planty video. If you have not been to my channel before, my name is Fern. I make videos all about houseplants and I also do vlogs and lifestyle type content. So if you're into that, make sure you click the subscribe button. Today we have a very exciting video because as you can see, I am sitting next to my I'm gonna call it completed, it's not completed. I still need to add more stuff, we'll get to that. But I'm going to call it my completed Ikea greenhouse cabinet. Oh my goodness, I have been working on this project for quite a while now. Mostly because it just took me so long to gather everything that I needed. But I am so stoked that it's completed. I have been seeing these cabinets everywhere and I knew that I just had to have one. And I was gonna wait until the new year to take this project on, but then I saw that these cabinets were selling out everywhere. So I panicked a little and bought one and here we are. So I have a lot of clips from the whole process of putting this cabinet together until its completion. So I'm gonna be taking you through the process and then giving you a little bit of a tour. One thing I do have to mention is that Planterior Decorator was the like main inspo for this cabinet. Her video is so thorough and has everything linked in the description box. It was like my resource. I have watched it so many times now. So I'm definitely going to link it down below. It's amazing and pretty much everything that is in my cabinet is also in her cabinet or very similar. It's, it's very, very similar. I have seen this set up like quite a few times now. I'm not sure who is like the original person to credit but that was my source for um, putting this cabinet together because I am not like a handy person, you guys. So um, I definitely needed a guide. And speaking of handy, my friends, Caleb and Shannon, were actually the people that helped me put together this cabinet and drill the holes in the bottom and install the pegboard and everything like that. So bless them. They pretty much built the whole thing for me and then Caleb drilled the holes in the bottom with a hole saw drill attachment thing and he also screwed on the pegboard that you see in the back we actually ended up screwing it right through the metal like post along the back i'll show you we actually had to go to rona like four times to gather the right screws so it was a bit of a trial and error process but i'm so happy with how everything turned out so yes so yes, I'm going to insert some clips and then kind of explain things along the way and give you guys a tour. Okay guys, so we are rewinding it a little bit here, back to building the cabinet. So this is just Caleb finishing screwing in some of the pegboard. I think we actually had to go back to Rona and find different screws. But anyways, he um, put the pegboard up, so good man. And now, this was a couple weeks later, I am adding everything into the cabinet. So I'm starting by fastening the grow lights with some heavy duty double sided tape. This said something crazy like it holds up to 50 pounds. So these lights are not very heavy. I think that it is going to do a good job of keeping them fastened. And I literally just pressed them on and they seem to be holding up. Okay, here we are continuing on with my Ikea. Ooh, the ring light is reflecting. Okay, continuing on with the Ikea greenhouse cabinet. This has been ongoing for like a month now honestly just because it took me a while to collect everything and um yeah that's basically it i kept putting off buying things because it's expensive like after everything's said and done this is going to be an expensive freaking cabinet so anyways i'll show you where i am at right now with the process and then we are going to finish it today so it's really exciting okay so this is what i did the other day i put the lights on each level and then my fans came in so I put the fans on each level as well this is my little hygrometer right there so what I'm going to do now I haven't plugged anything in yet so I'm not sure how this is all gonna look I'm gonna I think I'm gonna save that for the end we'll have like a reveal um, 
but right now i am going to do the weather stripping so i'm just gonna weather strip inside the doors here because there's quite a large crack so i don't know i guess it holds humidity pretty well when it's weather stripped so i'm going to do that and i will show you guys <laughs> that process i guess it's pretty boring but has to be done okay so this is the weather stripping i got I will link everything down below to show you what it looks like. So it's just like plastic and then I guess this is adhesive. It's just like an adhesive on the side. So I'm just going to stick it to the door and I don't know. I'm just going to figure it out as I go, I guess. Okay, I just finished the weather stripping. So I put it on both sides, or yeah, both sides of the door here, as you can see, all the way down. And then I also put it at the top. This gets like kind of weird when you close the door, but yeah, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And um, also between the two doors, I put some. The only place where I didn't put any is along the bottom because I ran out. <laughs> Don't mind my huge pile of stuff that needs to go in this cabinet. We, I guess, get to do that next. Put all the attachments on the pegboard. That's the fun part. I'm excited to do that. So yeah, let's move on to that. <music> Okay, so all the accessories are in. I will probably adjust these. That's just where I'm putting them for now. And now it's time to add the plants. Okay, so all of the plants to start off with are in there. There's definitely a ton more room and I'm gonna be rearranging it. Um, but for now, it is all good and I'm gonna plug everything in with this smart power bar. This works with my Google Home, so I'll be able to control the lights from that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get everything all plugged in and ready to turn it on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. My house is pretty dark right now. It is the evening. Um, maybe I will turn my ring light back on to show you guys. Hopefully there's not gonna be too much of a glare. Okay, so this is what the cabinet looks like when it's closed. It 
it comes with a little key so you can even lock it so cute so i'm going to open it up and you can see right away the weather stripping that i put along the doors here so i have weather stripping along both of these sides and then some along the top as well this one's kind of a pain in the butt it doesn't close super well i might modify that but it's fine for now so that's just to keep the humidity up i literally just set this thing up it was at about 67 so so we'll see how high the humidity gets in here i literally just completed this cabinet setup so i'll have to update you guys in you know a couple weeks or something and let you know how it's going and i'm definitely going to be um adding more plants there's so much space and rearranging things and whatnot but this is just what we have going on right now i'm definitely going to be posting like updated cabinet tours tour videos as it changes Okay, so let's talk about the accessories to start off. So pretty much, well, yeah, all, <laughs> all of these accessories that you see, the pegboard and everything that's hooked into it is the IKEA Scatis line, which is what most people are using uh, if they're doing the pegboard thing. So I have shelves, little buckets, these ones I have seen people use for propagations, putting moss in there. So I think that's such a cool idea. More shelves, these little clips, which I think are so cute. So I have a plant in one there. And then down here, I actually have the cords clipped. So you can, you know, use them for whatever you need them for. <laughs> And like I was saying, the pegboard is screwed through this metal bit. I'll show you what it looks like at the back. But it's actually, you can see the screw right there. It's actually screwed right through in two spots. So it's super sturdy. And there is actually one of the little like shelf things between the pegboard and the glass so that there's some space between for the hooks to go through. You can see um, the hooks go through the back like that. So they wouldn't be able to if it was just like pressed against the glass, you know what I mean? So thank you, Caleb, for doing such a good job with that. And then I have two LED plant lights. One is on each level. This one I actually already had and I wasn't using, so I only had to buy one more. Um, and so that worked out really well. And yeah, they are pretty decent grow lights. They're by the Fiat, F-E-I-T. I will have everything linked below, like I said. But I'm really hoping the plants will like them. I haven't used it for such a long time, so I don't really remember. But people seem to like these lights, so hopefully it'll be alright. And then on each level, I also have a little fan. I guess you can see this one better. They are just running at the lowest level right now. And I think that that's going to be perfect for this cabinet. It's just like a light breeze. And the reason I have one on each level is because this glass is pretty much blocking any type of circulation. So I want the air to be circulating down here and up there as well. And that's extra important, especially because it's weather stripped and everything. So it's really going to hold the air in. And you do not want stagnant air in here because it's going to be humid and your plants could rot or mold if you don't have the air moving around. Oh yeah, I will show you the holes drilled on the bottom as well. So I have holes on the bottom on each side. There's one on that side and one on that side. So like I said, Caleb drilled those holes for me. We just put together this bottom piece, we, <laughs> pretty much Shannon, put together this bottom part of the cabinet and then he drilled um, through both layers. For the hygrometer, it is just my Govi one, which I love my Govi hygrometers. You guys know that I have talked about them before. They're super awesome. I like just like this little cute one right there. So I will, I guess, talk about the plants that I have in here for now. So on the top, I have my variegated Hoya Compacta, a variegated string of hearts propagation that I have recently potted up. My Milano Chrysum, which I am literally obsessed with. Like, oh my gosh, it's newest leaf. Look at that. Oh, I think he's going to be happy in here. And he's totally outgrown his pole already. I need to give it an attachment. 
And then over here I have my Hoya Carry Eye, the variegated one. My Monstera Albo. This leaf is slowly on its way out, but the other two are looking good. Um, you guys saw me repot this guy and give him the moss pole, so seems to be doing well so far. And then down here I have my fry deck, which if you're a member of my Patreon, you would have seen me repot as well as my alocasia dragon scale. Neither of these guys are very happy and I'm not really sure what the problem is, but I'm hoping that being in this cabinet with the higher humidity really helps them. So I will keep you guys posted, but yeah, they're both just kind of droopy. The root systems did look awesome though, so I feel good about that, but yeah. And then I have my Philodendron Gloriosum putting out a new leaf there. So cute. And then on the lower level, I have my variegated Syngonium, which is actually unfurling a new leaf here as well. It looks like it's going to be a half moon leaf. So cute. Can't wait to see that one. And then my Calathea White Star, which I had posted on my Instagram that I plan to put in this cabinet. So I'm really happy that it's finally in here because as you can see, it has a lot of crisping. So I'm really hoping that the humidity is going to help it. And then I decided to also put my Anthurium Clarinervium. Ooh, I was actually thinking of putting my Vitar Folium in here as well. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I'll go get it. And then beside that one, I have my Thai Constellation, which is Happy in Lekka. You guys saw me repot this as well, and it's doing awesome. Its roots are growing like weeds as usual. And I am just waiting for that new leaf to come out. You can see the bump. You can see its little pregnant belly right there. So cute. So like I said, these empty ones I'm planning on propagating with moss. I could even do it in these ones also. It's a good idea. So yeah, I still have like so many things to fill up with plants. So I have an excuse to buy more plants. So I will definitely keep you guys posted on how this cabinet kind of progresses and how the plants are doing and keep you posted with everything that I end up changing because obviously it's in the very early stages. Everything's kind of like experimental right now. But overall, I am like so thrilled with it. It looks so cool. Like my living room looks so badass now. Oh my gosh, I love. Oh, and also everything is plugged into this smart power bar, which I need to set up with my Google Home so that I can control it with voice command, which will be really cool. But yeah, that is pretty much my cabinet. Also, I did want to quickly mention that if you are planning on putting together an Ikea greenhouse cabinet, there is a Facebook group for it. If you're on Facebook, if you just type in Ikea greenhouse cabinet, there's a whole community of people that post about their cabinets and link everything that they used and explain their setups and help people troubleshoot. And yeah, it's just such a great resource. I also used that a lot. Planterior decorator and Ikea greenhouse cabinet or Ikea Greenhouse Club, I think the Facebook group is called. Those are my two resources and the search tool is also super helpful in that Facebook group because I can just search like weather stripping and then I can find out a bunch of information about people weather stripping their cabinets. So that is a really good tip as well. I hope I didn't miss anything. I know the cabinet's not like completed completed, but I really wanted to get this video up because I'm just so stoked about it. Um, I can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts and yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know which plants I should put in the cabinet. And yeah, I can't wait to chat with you guys about it. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate it so, so much. Don't forget to give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you are not. And if you're interested, I also have a Patreon now where you can find bonus content and that really helps to support my channel. So thank you so much to all of my patrons on there. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.